Good Wednesday morning, everybody. I'm Dwayne Nelson. In the news, the Unicoi County Sheriff's Office has made an arrest as the result of a murder-for-hire plot. An unnamed individual was charged last night after meeting an undercover officer at the Clear Branch Welcome Center. That's located right off Interstate 26. According to Chief Deputy Ronnie Atkins, the person tried to pay for the killing with both money and drugs. There is no doubt about the person that was arrested, their desire to hire someone to kill another individual. There's no doubt. The intended victim was reportedly a family member. No names are being released at this time because more people may have been involved. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation looking into accusations of bribery used during the recent decision to appoint a General Sessions Court judge. Several Hawkins County commissioners have been interviewed. Commissioner Darrell Gillum claims that he was offered a bribe by a third party to change his vote from Buddy Baird to Jay Taylor prior to the commission's July 25th appointment of Taylor. Once that investigation is completed, the findings will be then turned over to the district attorney's office. Abingdon, Virginia attorney John LeMay has announced plans to seek the Democratic nomination for the 40th District Virginia Senate seat, which is currently held by Republican William Wampler. Wampler has announced that he won't be seeking another term. Building permits in the Tri-Cities have dropped nearly 20 percent in the first two quarters of this year compared to a year ago. Those numbers based on residential permits from a Knoxville-based firm known as the Market Edge. The study encompassed Carter, Green, Hawkins, Sullivan, and Washington counties in Tennessee, as well as Scott and Washington counties in Virginia. Unicoi Town Leaders looking to change the Volunteer Fire Department's Insurance Service Office rating. The ISO rating ranges from 0 to 10, with the low end of that representing strong fire protection. Currently, the town's rating has been at a 9 since its last evaluation in 1974. If you'd like to be a state trooper in Tennessee, now's the time to apply. The Tennessee Highway Patrol accepting applications for men and women who are interested in law enforcement. Northeast Tennessee Regional Medical Reserve Corps is seeking volunteers to support and assist the public health workforce in times of need. Angie Miner, volunteer coordinator, says they're looking for applicants with various backgrounds. We're actually looking for both medical and non-medical people. We actually have more non-medical volunteers than medical, but we just need people to help with filling out forms, directing people where to go. The Medical Reserve Corps serves Carter, Green, Hawkins, Johnson, Unicoi, Hancock, and Washington counties. Two people accused of defrauding a local bank have been convicted of the crime. In U.S. District Court in Greenville, Tommy Blair was found guilty of bank fraud, conspiring to commit bank fraud, and submitting materially false information, while Christina Rogers was found guilty of being an accessory. Sentencing for Blair and Rogers set for January 30th. Carter County man behind bars for allegedly having inappropriate contact with a 14-year-old girl. 33-year-old John Welsh is charged with statutory rape involving a friend of his daughter's. The girl's family alerted authorities after the discovery of sexually explicit text messages on her cell phone. Carter County Sheriff Chris Mathis told 11 Connects he's glad his department was able to intervene. Uh, traumatized this juvenile is going to be here for how long? Um, the, there's risk of STD, there's risk of pregnancy, there's risk of all kinds of things. Welsh will appear in court on September 20th. He's being held under an $8,000 bond. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Have a great Wednesday.